Hi and welcome back to my channel. Let's continue our LPIC expeditions. We are on manage user and group accounts and related system files. The weight is 5, which is very high, but it's a very easy lesson. Lesson. The reason that the weight is this high is because this is very important. You will learn how to add users, modify users, block users, add groups, and relevant files. Interesting part and fun section. But first, let's use this command to change our password. Pass WD, password. This changes your password. Many people complain to me that Jadi, the fact that you are using one, two, three during these sessions for your passwords is not a good practice. People are learning here, so let's change this to something better. It says your current password, so it makes sure that I am the person who is using the password. I know my own password at the moment, and I'm going to change it. Current password, another password. So, okay, password updated successfully. Can I change it once more? I will change it back to one, two, three. It says, ow. Okay, password did not match and it failed. Current password, one, two, three. Retype the password and it says you must choose a longer password. So there are some restrictions on choosing bad password. I gave it my previous password. Again, it complained that this cannot be done and I break it. So you cannot change your password to something weak, but user root can do that. I said sudo do with root access pass wd jadi. Change jadi's password. So it's okay, password for jadi, the new password. Ah, oh, no, this is for sudo. Let's go like this, sudo su, my password, now I'm root. I will say pass wd jadi, change jadi's password. So okay, just give the new password, one to three, one to three. It accepted because root is saying so. This is how Unix world works. Root said change the password to one to three and computer accepted because he's root or she's root. And also, Note that this didn't ask for the current password of Jody because this is root. So it can just change people's passwords. This was one part. Pass the value to Jody to something strong enough. And you know how to change your password. But let's talk about users and group. You already have an idea what users and groups are in the Linux world. We had the change mode and change own commands. We described how you can change the ownership of a directory or a file, how you can modify the access to different users and different groups and this kind of stuff. But how can you add a user, modify a user or delete a user? And also same thing with groups, how you can delete, modify, or add new groups. In Linux world, this is easy. You can do with user, double tap, user add, user delete, and user modify. Very easy commands. I say user add, new user. Okay, I added new user. No password, no home directory, nothing. If I wanted to have this thing, I had to tell the command using these switches. Dash D will say, okay, home directory is blah, blah. Dash M would say, okay, create this home directory. Dash S is for shell. What's the shell of these users? Is it, for example, bin bash? So whenever user logs in, the bean bash will be run. And also two, and also G to add to some groups. 
add to some more groups, additional groups other than the default group, which is this users group, and also they see for some comments. Let's try it. User del new user. User add this. I would say, okay, this user's home directory is in temp dummy. Create this directory. The shell is being bashed, no need. Add it to some specific groups, no need. And I have a comment. Good user. Ah, something is broke. User add dash D dash M dash C. Good user, new user. Now I have a new user. Its home is here for sure. This is not a good home because each time you reboot your computer, this might be deleted. But anyway, this is a dumb user and we will remove it later. But this is difficult. So there are some better commands. One famous one is add users. Remember, all the user management official ones were user add, user del, user mod. Here we have the add user. And it's much nicer. For example, user add super. Start asking. Okay, give me the password. Password is one, two, three. Retype the password. Give me the full name of this user. Something. Room number. This is because of the Unix usage in the old days, which was in the universities, in the offices, in the labs. So the room number is nine. Work phone, home phone. Other data. Is this information correct? Yes. It says, okay, I created super and I add it also to the users group. Configuration in Debian. And adding user super to group users. Also, it tells you that I created this home directory without asking and this is the home directory of this user. Another piece of information is I copied whatever was in etc scale skeleton in this home directory. So you can have a welcome message, how to document, how our company works, whatever you want, and just copy it here. Each new user which is created, this template will be copied in their home directory. ls etc scale, nothing. Let's show hidden files. There are some bash logout, bash rc, face, face icon, and profile files here. So this is a more decent way of creating users if you are on a command line. Much easier. To modify a user, you have the user mode command. With user mode, you can use most of the switches you had. In the user add, for example, you can create a shell, you can change the home directory, all using the user mode. But there are a couple of more switches too. For example, dash L and dash U to lock and unlock a user. At the moment, our the user we created with the add user has a password and can lock. I can say prevent the lock. So I can say user mode dash lock super super is locked she cannot log in anymore until i do an unlock i will talk about this later and she will show you how this works another thing which is very very common to use is ag add to the groups so add to the group sudo the user super i'm adding user super to the sudo group so from now on from here her next login, she will be able to do sudo commands. Interesting. But what is this A? The point is, I'm saying user mode, modify these users. I can say groups, blah, 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 this user. This user's groups will be set to exactly these. It's more common to say user mode add to the groups blah 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 user now the user will has its own groups whatever it had and these will be added to those 
these are two different methods so this is much much more common i have never done this because you always want to say okay some more groups for this user please you never say whatever was there just delete them set it on this not never but in most in general cases deleting users is easy user del super deleted and you remember when we created with the user add it didn't ask for a password so we have to say pasta value this super to set a password super what i'm saying user del super if i do it again it would say okay no user exists user del new user and done so you know how to create users how to modify users and how to delete your users normally when you are doing this the home folder won't be removed unless you try the dash r switch remove same thing kind of will happen for the groups you can say group add and add a group new group or you can say group add dash g with group id blah blah ah new group exists my group add a new group why this is useful for example you want to do something have a directory want one of your faculties to access this directory so you add a group which is called for example faculty fac1 will give the ownership of this directory to this then create a new group then you do a user mode dash a capital g fac1 the user you want now this user is part of this group so they will be able to access this directory to be honest in more than 20 years of my linux experience i have never done this because i never manage a university okay in most cases in the real life we have a linux which runs one application so you had the group add if you wanted you could say the group id in the linux world each user and each group do have an numeric id you can check it with your id i'm root so my id is zero also my group id is zero i'm very root and normally the users and groups created by the admin will have their id their id will start from thousands and will go upward so if i say id jody you can see that jody is the first user added to the system and the id is one thousand same you can modify your groups group modify group modify you can say change the id to 500 for my group this change or you can say del group uh, new group Add not del group, group del. Group del, new group. And tab works and completes my commands. I don't need to type ever. Now you know how to change your password, how to manage your users, and how to manage your groups. On the next section, we will talk about some important files, who plays roles here, and hackers.